So, yeah, hi, Louis. Um, hello, greetings from London. A rainy day outside. I hope Cape Town's got enough rain from the previous messages that you gave me. But anyway, in terms of my seven minutes presentation to you, let's go for it. So, when we previously spoke, you mentioned and suggested that we do three venues, morning session and afternoon session, and that is specifically for um, the principals and the agents. So I strategically thought, what can we do, what can I deliver to make sure that, these are, that both parties, both sets of participants are on the same um, working, uh, working model, that the, the, the launching pad is the same for both of them. And I came up with an organizational framework which I think is brilliant. Su shortly, the framework su um, suggests that if you've got two continuums and you juxtapose them, continuum one will be people and task, and continuum two will be a timeline, future and present. So if we put them together like this, we get four quadrants. And these four quadrants are four key performance indicators for successful business or for successful organization. So the four quadrants are strategic vision and the membership potential and the resource management and customer service. So the key part of this model is that, and through speaking with other agents, is that the membership potential seems to be removed from the other three key performance indicators. And I think it's just also important to just stop and ask, what do you mean by removed from the other three? So when I say removed from the other three, I'm talking about the vision that they set, or the business sets, the agent doesn't know what's going on. It's, it's got nothing to do with the agent. It's your, it's the principal's vision. It's not mine, and it's two separate entities. From the resource management, bureaucracy, red tape, detail. Customer satisfaction, distant, disconnect, emails, trying to connect, trying to engage, but not getting it right. Also another thing is office politics. So in other words, the membership potential amongst themselves uh, could even be hating each other, they are competitive, it's all a cutthroat business. Okay, so the key assumption for both agent and principal is that for the principal, through effective leadership, is to re establish the membership potential and integrate it back into the other three key performance indicators. And I, I, I repeat myself, but I, I want to do that through effective leadership. So that will be the key theme for the principles. The training for the agent, I think it will be imperative to put the, lay the gauntlet down, if I can say it that way, in terms of get competent. And it is through competence, which will also relate back to what you offer them in terms of the legal issues and understanding um, bond originating and contract law, all those little things is get competent so that you can rise up the hierarchy in terms of success. And I think if we put those two groups together, principal leadership and get competent for the agents, And Louis, having said that, I think it's also important to um, emphasize that because the agents themselves are self-employed, they themselves in their own right are leaders. So I can put through, push through the whole concept of leadership. And what does it mean if the agents are, are leaders, but also the principals are leaders? That might sound like a contradiction, but it's not. And that will become evident. So. Louis, I hope that this is enough for now. And if you need anything else in terms of if this is not if this is not showing you what you're in for by inviting me over and working with you, let me know and I'll ping something else through to you then. Okay then, thank you. Bye.